Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a summary of the stream from Thursday, as well as an in-depth look at some of the new units that have been previewed to us by Megapol. We're going to first just bring up a little bit of footage with him playing with one of the Nurgle Ogrins. Um, this is to say it is a mutated Ogryn, and while he plays with the light settings, we'll just talk about some of the general content within the stream, and then we'll bring up all of the other exciting units and give you a little bit of a talk through as to what they've showcased. So as a general TLDR from the stream, obviously it was a few Q&As, but really actually there was no real content other than a little bit of reassurance that the game isn't being made into a PvP MOBA, much to our surprise. And of course the game is still coming to PS4, and PS4 Pro is still supported, same as last time. I also believe that it is too early to say whether the game on console will introduce or will include couch co-op. And that's pretty much it in terms of the general small talk. Let's get cracking on with these new units and have a look at what they're showcasing. All right, guys, so let's bring up the next screen and move on to showcasing some of these amazing looking units. So first up, you'll notice their sort of gifts seem to be a little bit mismatched. That's because we only had four seconds to play with. So I had to play it forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. And some of the animations look a little bit janky. That's down to my video processing, not the actual guy's ability to make a GIF. So let's start off with some of these awesome looking units. If we start off by looking straight down, we have the first Night Lord down here. This is going to be an actual Dreadnought. You might look at the head placement and think to yourself, it looks a little bit like a Terminator. Well, it does a little bit in terms of uh, helmet placement within the actual unit, but it is one of the newer models for a Dreadnought as shown within the pictures somewhere. So moving on from here, of course, in the bottom right down there, we've got the ordinary Chaos Space Marine already in. We have the Plague Bearer to our right over here. Nothing new to see there. We have some Marauders up in the top right. Again, we've already got those in the game. Let's look at the new stuff. So up above, this unit has been demoed to us already. It is a, I believe it was called a Unbound master or it's basically the command unit of the imperial guard rebels it's their version of a commander looks a bit like a an orcish ogryn i'm not entirely sure what his background story is supposed to be but that is what faction he will be associated with he's not an orc he is definitely part of the imperial rebels um, or the rebel imperial guard as they're called within this game. Now, if we look over to the left over here, you will see, you will see a rather awesome looking Nurgle Ogryn. These guys, as I said earlier, mutated chaos units, mutated Ogryns rather. There is previous footage of them within the game moving around. They do look really, really nice. They don't look to be boss units. I think we can expect them to be somewhere between a Plague Bearer and a Dreadnought in terms of difficulty, although they may well have changed this to make them more awesome. And finally, in the top left up there, we have what appears to be just an ordinary ranged militia. Now, given the spy-esque look to this gentleman. It's possible these may take the form of the red guys that operate the turret. It's hard to say, but say I think it's fairly safe to assume these guys are going to inform, or sorry, these guys will consist of the bread and butter of the Imperial Guard rebels. So moving on to the next piece of the puzzle now, we have up above us the very first Dark Elder that we've seen. This spiky chap is not part of the Chaos Faction. He is... I hope it's a he, it could be a she, I guess, but they are going to be uh, an incubus. So those of you that don't know what a Dark Elder is, if you're new to Warhammer, imagine a Dark Elf with their pointy helmet went into space. And there you go. Pretty simple, really. Only in the future, they're no longer elves, they're Eldar. And of course, they have their own backstory that's separate to the elves, etc. But there you go, Dark Elf up above. Looks really awesome and spiky. Can't wait. These guys, the Incubus, are typically more of an elite ground unit, slightly harder to kill. So pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Now let's move on to the other stuff. If we look up to the top left up there, you can see a naked looking man. And that naked looking man is a rogue psyker, rather, because in 40k they're psychers, not sorcerers. 
in some situations. Someone feel free down in the comments to tell me the difference between a psyker and a sorcerer. I'd actually like to know. Now, looking over to our right over here, we have a rather interesting looking gentleman. This guy looks part possessed and he is going to be the demon host. We don't know what the guy's role will be during the game. We don't know what he's going to be, but we're told that the not only does the model look pretty cool, and I do agree with that. Obviously, we can't see his legs, but I think it's safe to say they look pretty cool too. But this guy looks awesome. I don't know whether he's actually going to become more possessed as you kill him. I really like the idea of killing someone and the greater demon bursting out of them. Maybe a bit early days for that, but there you go. Looking straight down to the bottom right down here now, we have... I think what is safe to say is going to be another ranged variant of a basic militia. This guy in no way seems to represent a larger unit like a Chaos Space Marine. It's simply going to be the bread and butter of what's forming the Imperial Rebels ranged units. Now, looking straight down again, we have what looks like some form of fish frog mixed with a shark mouth. And, well, there you go. The, the arms, the biceps, I mean, could he be an Ogryn? The truth is I don't really know. Um, but he does appear to be some form of melee unit. I'm guessing he will f partly form the maybe the equivalent of a Chaos Space Marine, but for the Imperial Guard Rebels. So it, it could be an Ogryn. I, I don't actually know. Feel free to throw your ideas down below with the keyword shark-faced fish frog. Okay. Now, over on the left again, we have Chaos Space Marine, and down there, down here rather, we have the ordinary, usual guys that were used to uh, purging the ordinary heretics, nothing more to see there. Now, moving on, we have some rather exciting stuff on the next page. If we look down to the bottom right, we have what I originally thought was a Beast of Nurgle. However, it's not. It's a Chaos Spawn, which is Nurgle coloured. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a beast of Nurgle that looks like a Chaos Spawn because the animations and maybe the unit they just felt look better or maybe it's just supposed to be an actual Chaos Spawn itself or that's sort of associated with Nurgle because obviously we don't have um, unbound or what's the word? What's the word for the damn demons that don't have a goddamn faction orientation? God, my lore knowledge is really being called into question today. I suck. Anyway, let's move up onto the top right up there. Now, the size of these guys, this guy's biceps, I think the gun looks like an Ogryn gun to me. It could be a grenade launcher. It has a barrel underneath, so maybe this could be a sort of Chaos Space Marine equivalent ranged Ogryn. Who knows? It could just be another bread and butter ranged unit. A big, big fatty. But again, guy looks awesome. He's got spikes all over him. He's got a skull on his spike. Fits all the bills of chaos. And you'll see up and down to my left, up left, top left, bottom left, uh, there are some various chaos space marines. Now, obviously, some of these textures aren't finished, which is why the top guy looks like he's covered in ketchup. Uh, but these are just units already in the game. They are not actually corn related which some of you might sort of get excited about these are just the the or the chaos space marines already present within the game the world eaters or world bearers rather world bearers right moving on to the next screenshot so again up above down below we've covered all of that to our left we have a sorry to my right i have another dreadnought variant this is the standard dreadnought most of us that have played 40k over the years are used to seeing and of course in the top right we have the nurgle dreadnought again we've seen that within the game already the bottom right we have the hell brute nothing to see there but the animation does look amazing and chaos i up above again to the left we've got the sort of the war master now last one top left we have up here we have well it's hard to say what this guy is he seems to have a pipe going from his gun to his backpack which to me any guy covered in metal with a pipe that goes from his gun to his backpack is carrying a flamer so i think this is the most likely scenario the guy seems to be fairly more heavily armored than other units so it's hard to say if he's going to be a special unit or just a guy with a flamer but either way the guy looks pretty pretty cool feel free if you have any other ideas regarding him to stick them in the comments down below and again, one of the difficulties, guys, with uh, the Imperial Guard Rebel faction is there are some miniatures, but there's not a lot. So they've got some quite uh, flexible opportunities here with regards to the miniatures and model design, etc. So what looks like an Ogryn may just be a really hench man and Vicky Verky. 
so we'll just have to wait and see what some of these units actually are. I'm just providing some, some loose speculation for those of you that may not be too in tune with the lower. Now, up above on this screen, we have, well, up above and to my bottom right down here, we have what I presume will form the bread and butter of the melee units. Again, the guy looks really hench, not quite hench enough to be an Ogryn. And for those of you that are not sure what an Ogryn is, it's an ogre in the 40k universe because you have to change a name in the future. And there you go. Basically, I think these guys will probably form the bread and butter of the people that are trying to poke a sword up a bum. And there you go. Obviously, all the other units on this screen are already in the game. Chap on my left over there is the current commander. Anyone with a bionic eye seems to be a commander. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and to my right as well. He's both sides of me. And, guys, that's actually all of the units that they've showcased thus far. So we've seen a couple of new Night Lord units. We've seen two types of Dreadnought, which looks nice. We've got a Dreadnought. Um, we have an Incubus as well. And we have quite a few Imperial Guard Rebel units. Now, if you want to see some more of these units in actual action, they do have them in some previous, I think, 2016 footage. So feel free to look up the old trailers, 2015-2016 Gamescom trailer, I think, for Warhammer. will showcase some of these guys in action. Now, guys, tomorrow's video, we're going to be discussing camera angles within ARPGs and the various options and the various pros and cons of each. Hopefully some of you will find that interesting. But in the meantime, have a great Saturday, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. Peace. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe.